bladder cancer and even upper tract urothelial cancer has many mutations. So what we call tumor mutational burden, you know, in many patients is high. And this high number of mutations create new proteins, new antigens, we call those new antigens, that can be potentially recognized by the immune system. And some of those new antigens qualitatively can induce immunogenic responses. So it's hard to find the really robust, strong new antigens. It's trying uh, to find a needle in a haystack, but the more mutations you have, statistically higher the chance of having these strong immunogenic new antigens that can be triggering the immune system. And I think that's probably part of the answer why some patients may respond very well. It's just hard to find, you know, which these new antigens are. But higher tumor mutational burden uh, is probably one of the uh, uh, biomarkers that can associate with high response rates to immune checkpoint inhibitors across tumor types, including urothelial cancer. Also, we now have data uh, that show that if you have mutations in DNA damage response genes like BRCA or other similar genes in the DNA repair pathway, you might have a higher chance to respond to immunotherapy. And the question is whether the mechanism of that is because of genomic instability and you get more mutations, or if there is some separate mechanism there that DNA response gene mutations can predict response to immunotherapy. There are other features I think that we have to delve into more. There are some molecular subtyping profiling data that show that you know some subtypes, you know, luminal 2 or basal may respond better uh, to immune support inhibitors.